Hi folks, well, there ain't no gold in this one. I did go down to the river on last Sunday. It was a really sunny day and every man and his dog was in the woods around the river and everything. Uh, and our official se season doesn't start well the 1st of May. So if you get reported, it could cause big problems and big fines. So I didn't uh, do any digging, but I still need to go back and test that spot again. But this one, if you guys have got um, sluices, eye bankers, pumps generators and all that stuff and you want to mark it up permanently i've got a way to do it electro etching i've done a little bit of a uh, demonstration here on this video and you know as they say we need no rest for the wicked <laughs> And incidentally, <laughs> before I do get on with it, there's uh, has any of you guys got a, a PVC cutter that can cut out sticky back PVC? There's a question. If you have, I would be interested. Let me know. Anyway, I'll get on with it. It's nice to be nice. So guys, all you guys with equipment, I thought this might be interesting to you. Uh, what I'm going to do is permanently mark my sluice and my shovel. With, I'm going to do two methods, well, same method, two different ways. I'll blank that out, and what I'm going to do is stick decals on it, and then do a electro <laughs> electrolysis, electro etching. And I'm going to put them decals on and electronically etch my name across there. Not that a lot of people steal stuff around here, but it was always a chance. But on the other side, it's marking your stuff up. You could put your logo on or whatever you want. And the other way is spray it black and write something in there. So what I'll do, I'll just get it set up and uh, I'll show you. I mean, beauty of it is, it's permanently, permanently marked. If somebody does pinch your stuff, you, you know, you, a lot of you guys have got generators and eye bankers and all stuff like that. I don't, I've only got a shovel and a... <laughs> and a sluice, that's all we're, all, all we're allowed to use but I thought I'd share it because it might come in handy for you so what I've got here is a battery charger uh, that's for the car now 6 volt, 12 volt or even the small 9 volt battery will work to do this you're positive goes to your piece what you're etching and your negative goes to this now you don't have to be this you could put use a cotton bud and what I'm using in here is uh, vinegar water and salt it works with just um, salt as well salt and water but you've got to saturate it fully it works like an electrolyte this works a the opposite way I'll put that on there this works the opposite way around to plating I'm taking material away from this um, so basically what it'll do it'll leave those when I peel them off it'll leave the, the letters raised and I'm waiting for that to dry before I put anything in that and that will sink the letters in because the rest of it's marked and then I'll just clean that off with acetone
Now that's permanently etched in. Now the longer you go, deeper it goes. Uh, I only spent, well, not even five minutes, so, but that's there for forever. Unless somebody obviously takes it off with a grinder, but if it were my gear and I'd know where it's marked, I'd have a photo of it, obviously. And not do that. It's personalised, isn't it, now? I'll try and see if this will. Yeah, that should be alright. I'll do the other side, show you what I mean. So all I've done there is wait till the paint's gone tacky and basically just uh, scrubbed it in with a pointy stick. I'll have to wait for that to dry before I burn it or before I etch it. But what will happen is with that is the letters will come out darker because it's burning in rather than leaving the letters like I've done on the other side. Uh, I'll have to sort my shovel out as well. I'll show you the results when they've finished. And that's my spade, doing exactly the same. That's probably down about a quarter of a millimetre. So the longer you go, the deeper it goes. Uh, but permanently marked, you know. So the only way you're going to get it off that is to grind it off. And something with grind marks on is obviously being tampered with, isn't it? That's still very tacky, so I've got to wait for it to dry, and you know it's like waiting for paint to dry, so you'll see that next time it's uh, next time it's out, or next video or year I look.